Yeah, it's now about 45 days after sowing. So as you can see, uh, the crop starts elongating. So we have hit pretty much the, the end of the tillering and uh, it's now time for the crop to develop more biomass. So you can see it's got uh, quite a few nice looking tillers here in this place and the stem starts uh, elongating now. So we're coming then gradually closer to what will then be the next stage, panicle initiation, when the panicle carrying the grain will be formed. So, and since this is now elongating, so it's a period when it goes very, very fast. You know, so today is the day when, according also to our recommendation that we did a few weeks ago already, we have to apply the next dose of nitrogen. So that's what we're going to do later. So we're going to put another uh, about 40 uh, Six kg of nitrogen on to support that process and during this time of the of the year at this stage uh, it'll take up this nitrogen very very fast uh, over 5 kg per hectare per day sometimes hitting close to 10 kg. Uh, the next thing that we, we also did today like we said last week already uh, Nancy's team just uh, went through around here and they just did a, an assessment of all the uh, different kinds of crop damage that we might have had uh, so diseases, insects, weeds, even rats. Uh, so we'll see what they have found out. Uh, but they went across the whole field and stopped at about 30 locations and assessed what, we, what we've got there. So that'll be uh, interesting information and a bit more objective than what we saw ourselves. Sometimes we are getting biased by thinking, okay, we've got this problem and this problem and this problem. But they've done it in a very systematic manner and we will see uh, what they have. So, but when you just sort of look around uh, the whole field here, so from the distance uh, it starts looking actually quite okay. Uh, so we've got a pretty good uh, dense uh, green canopy building up. So if we can support us now with enough nutrients and good water management and we don't run into more pest problems, we should be okay. Now one issue that we are always worried about is uh, stem borer. Uh, which is a decision we have to make uh, now or very soon whether we should actually do anything in terms of prophylactic stem borer control putting on some uh, insecticide systemic that would move into the plant and uh, kill any stem borer uh, larvae that might be in there. So I've been looking at this here uh, it's really hard to judge uh, and our data usually show that typically uh, if there are stem bore losses, uh, they are not more than one or two, two, three percent of the yield. So I think we're not going to put on that uh, very toxic chemical, and we're basically uh, hoping that we can get away without insecticide application. So we're taking some risk, uh, but since we're not conducting a maximum yield trial, we should be okay.